planning to make a video today, but I got started and I thought, I want to show you how to peel pears. A friend at work gave me a whole bunch of delicious pears and they've been on my porch ripening for a day or two. But when Mary Jo gave them to me, I said, how do you peel those? You know, when you've got this quantity and you want to can them, it's really hard just to do that completely by hand. So Mary Jo told me that she uses her apple peeler and I want to show you how slick it is. It doesn't get all of the peel off, but it certainly is a time saver. Let's get to that apple peeler. A shout out to Mary Jo for the tip. Thanks, Mary Jo. In my sink, I have some soapy water because I wash my hands so frequently. As I said, I started the process earlier. So there's some pears and they are soaking in lemon juice water to prevent them from browning. This container will collect the garbage. Here's the apple peeler. Apple peelers have a part that slices them. And I put that down because I don't want these pears sliced. I just want them peeled. So I put the fat end of the pear on my apple peeler. And I'm going to put that in my lemon water juice. I'm sticking the pear on. If you let them get too soft, this won't work. This button is the release so we can pull the handle back. With this style of apple peeler, it is secured to the counter with a suction cup at the base. I'll show you one more of this process, and then when I'm cleaning them up for canning, I'll show you that process as well. Over to the next step, I have a smaller paring knife, and I'm just coming here and getting off the skin. That didn't come off, I'm just going to slice that bottom. Then next, slice through, and with a melon baller, I'm going to take out that center. You can see how slick it is. Examine the fruit, make sure it's all good, and then I'm still putting it in lemon juice water until I'm ready for the next steps in the process. There you go, that one looks fine. I'll show you one more. Just getting that off, taking off the bottom. I like using a larger knife, but you could use a smaller one. And then my melon baller, get that little bit where the stem was. Look it over, looks good to me. Look it over, there's one little spot I'm not happy with, so I took that off. I hope these little tips for working with pears gives you a nice slick way to get the job done. Have a great day!